yo, yo, my friend. Welcome to Coach Paul's Life Tip Podcast. This is a place where you are going to be set free through every single day, challenges, struggles, possibilities, all of those things in your life. These life tips are going to help you navigate to your process. Hit that subscribe button here on iTunes and drop me a review down below if you like my content. You could also follow me on Spotify, iHeart, and YouTube. Now, here's the kicker. If you want to watch me live, you can pick me up live every single day on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Coach Paul Ibarra. I come on 7.30 a.m. every single morning, Central Standard Time, to bring you these tips. So once again, that's facebook.com forward slash coach Paul Ibarra. So if you are all about community and helping build a community, then that's the place to be. With that being said, sit back and enjoy the ride. Welcome back to another Life Tip with Coach Paul Ibarra. I am so thankful for you coming in. I'm so thankful for you uh, sharing this out and just so thankful to be able to do these life tips for you. And my prayer is, is that these life tips will actually not only encourage you, but actually change your life, change your trajectory on the different things that um, come about in life. Right. I mean, we all deal with stuff. We all work through stuff. We all have challenges in different areas of our life that we really, truly need some advice. We need some input. And that's my prayer is that my input is something that will actually truly set you free. And so today's life tip is one that it really hits close to home. And it's life tip number 32. And it says your hidden story is someone else's freedom. So why does this hit me so hard and why is it so personal? When I was when I was a young, a young lad, a young boy back in San Jose, California, I was a very shy and very quiet um, young boy, very young man, very uh, just kind of kept to myself. And as I began to grow and as I began to get older, I began to realize why, you know, there was um There was a whole lot of dysfunction that was going on in my house. There was a whole lot of things that um, shouldn't have been going on in the atmosphere. And so it was something that I carried for a long time. And so I had a stuttering problem. I really couldn't get a whole lot of speech out there. Believe it or not, yes, I did have a stuttering problem. Um, And I really didn't talk to a whole lot of people. And so I kind of reserved myself in areas of my life that I probably should have probably reached out a little bit more. However, it's actually granted me the peace to know that I don't share every single thought of mine with just anybody. So there's some discernment that came along in that. And so what it was for me was the lockdown of the mouth. So many emotions in my life, so many things that I wanted to say, and especially because I was so nervous and full of anxiety as a a young boy that I really couldn't speak because when I wanted to speak, even though it was truth. I didn't know how to re- how to deliver that message. And so it was the lockdown of the mouth. And if you can picture like Silence of the Lambs, this metal thing, this thing that covers my mouth, it was like stitched together. My lips were stitched together spiritually. So in the physical, I could never get these emotions out. I couldn't get a certain conversation out because if I expressed a certain way, I felt like I was being looked at as if I wasn't man enough because of the atmosphere that I was in. If I didn't get in a fight, I wasn't man enough. If I shied away from a fight, I wasn't man enough. If I acted a certain way, I wasn't man enough. And so, you know, the thoughts that come into your mind when certain things aren't a certain way for certain people, you begin to revert and you begin to go into this isolation mode and I really, truly, and I'm being really transparent here as a, as a youth, I battled in my mind if I was, if I was gay or not. Right. Um, now this isn't about me, you know, doing, you know, some crazy stuff, but this is, this is just real talk until I got to a certain age, 12 or 13 years old. Like, listen, I like girls. Right. And I'm not bashing homosexuality. I've got cousins. I've got family members that are homosexuals. I've got friends that are gay. Uh, So I'm definitely not here uh, bashing and I'm also not promoting 
Everyone's got their own lifestyle. Everyone's got their own salvation to work out. And so as I'm moving forward in this conversation, those emotional things that were going on through my life really caused me to go down a spiral of events that I really didn't want to encounter, but I did. Right. And so through this time, as I began to get older, my voice um, was still kind of shuttered. And so a lot of anger began to come out of my life and a lot of bitterness and a lot of rejection, a lot of the abandonment that so many of you are dealing with and working through that maybe you probably don't even know that you're that you have these issues because everything that's happening in life they're just symptoms of it, but you don't even realize because that's what you've functioned in your whole life. And so as my story goes on, I don't want to keep you too long. Once I begin to tap into the emotional side and, and begin to start coming around people that I trusted, right? I began to unlock my voice and it brought me freedom. It brought me freedom to be able to share with those that I cared about those that cared about me to share about my life, those hidden secrets, those hidden conversations. And when we say secrets, we want to, sometimes we think of all this dark place of, oh my God, like there's these secrets. No, it's the secrets of dreams that you may have, different expressions that you may have. Uh, I was very artistic when I was young. So I, I you know, I always wanted to express through graffiti or express through coloring and express through music and dancing. And, you know, I used to break dance. I used to do all of that. And so there was so many different sides of my life that were emotionally artistic. And so once I began to express in a way that unlocked and unleashed that inner dark place or that isolation place, Then I was able to share my story with people, not even realizing that it was bringing me freedom as I spoke about it. But the more that I spoke about it, when I started getting into into my later teens and my in my early 20s, then I started sharing the things that were going on in my life. It began to bring me freedom. Now, in that season of my life, there was a lot of negative that I was bringing to the conversation. But fast forward, when I was about 33 years old is when I got to a place where I was tired of being sick and tired. And so I started hanging around with better people. I started hanging around with people that weren't so negative. I gave my life to Christ. I started going to church and the rest is history, right? And so what am I saying today? You, my friend, are victorious for a reason. When you begin to share your voice and when you begin to unlock your hidden story, it truly is someone else's freedom. Your story is someone else's freedom. You are victorious for a reason. You are still here for a reason to unlock someone else's freedom. So my question for you today is this, who do you want to help and how can your story set them free? You see, your story isn't just something just to get somebody through a season of their life or a situation. Your story is on purpose because that sometimes can be the catapult to someone's future, someone's destiny, someone's um, career change. So it, it launches people sometimes. And so you can't be afraid to express and use your voice. Unlock that thing because your hidden message, which has been isolated for so long, can really truly be someone else's freedom. So my next question is, how can your story change someone's life? How can what you've gone through change someone's life? I want you to really think about that today. I want you to really get it into your heart and into your spirit of how these things, your testimony, your story can truly change someone's life. Now, you may be saying, I don't even I don't I don't have a platform like you, Paul. I don't I don't get on Facebook live. I don't you know. I'm I'm not very expressive. Start somewhere. You can talk to your kids. 
you can talk to somebody on the phone that is part of customer service. Maybe your job is caretaking. Sometimes just listening to somebody will cause you to think about a situation that you've been in to where you can say, you know what? I've been in your shoes before. I know a little bit of what you're going through because we totally don't know exactly how a person feels, but we can relate to some of the things that that person has been going through because of where we have been. Amen. And so I want you to start somewhere today. I want you to really think about who can I impact today and how will I go about doing so? And if you need help in any of these areas, reach out to me at setfreelife.net. You can email me at identityofonecoaching at gmail.com. I just want to thank everyone who has uh, listened to this podcast. If you're here on Apple, um, do me a huge favor and drop me a review. Let me know how I am doing. Uh, this podcast is going everywhere right now. One of our, our biggest platforms is Pandora. So share this out. Let people know exactly where you found this. If you know anyone that you can think of that is like, you know what? Somebody really needs to hear this message. Share it out to them. Hit that up arrow. Share it out to somebody. Copy the link. And you can also go to bit.ly forward slash podcast platform. And that has all of my different links for my YouTube, my Facebook, everything and everywhere that I'm at. You, my friend, can get in contact with me. All right. So I'm going to end this one. This one has gone kind of long, but it's something that was personal in my life. And so I wanted to share that with you. All right. So if you need any prayer, let me know. I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I want to thank you once again for tuning in to your life tips with Coach Paul. If this podcast has brought value to your life, hit that subscribe button, my friend, and drop me a review if you haven't already. And just a reminder, you can catch my latest live tips on Facebook.com forward slash Coach Paul Ibarra, 730 a.m. Central Standard Time every weekday morning. And if you or anyone needs help in any area that you have heard me touch on, I am here to serve you, my friend. Visit my website, setfreelife.net, to schedule a free call with me, Coach Paul. So until we meet again, keep it moving and share some kindness with someone today. God bless.